having you. Saturday, bank holiday. Saturday the 20, 20, 20, hang on, hang on, hang on, I'll tell you, 2024. 20, I'm racked off with dates. Uh, thanks for all the nice comments on the last video. Um, it's obviously great British Koi Show weekend this weekend. We're going to be going up tomorrow. Um, you've probably this is probably all going, all going to be gone by the time you see this video because this will be next week, so I suppose. Um, but yeah, as you can see behind me, there's a few slabs down. Um, he said he was he was going to take him two days. We're four days in now. You know what I mean? But to be fair, I did run out of slabs. I haven't got enough slabs. Um, this how all the slabs were them down at the minute. The dog's been up here, so forgive the shit on the slabs. So. Here you are. Look, the dog's been up here. So, yeah, um, he has acquired some more slabs, to be fair. So, I've got to take my hat off to him for that. Thanks for that, Rad. So, we should have enough. We should have enough now. There's another row I've got to go in across there. Obviously, this A square to that. Um, and then we'll, we'll make up as we go along. There's, uh, there's that end over here. Why is that just zoomed back in? There's this end over here. Oh, we've got to be. Oh, we've got to be. Cutting, but it is what it is. You know what I mean. It's uh, it's getting done, and to be honest, I hate doing it, <laughs> which is makes a change. I have done little bits here and there just to try and help him along. I mean, I've carried the slabs up and that today, and sort of brought him some sand up and whatever else. But he's he's doing this while I'm at work, and today, of course. Uh, everything else going on, I thought, you know what, well, I've got, still got a ton of stone, a ton of bag of stone on the drive. I'll stone it up here. It, what this is, more than anything, the reason I've stoned this up here is because it stops the sludge. There's a pool of water hangs in here, and it stops the sludge. You can actually just about see two patches of water now. Um, it just gives you something to walk on. So, that's pretty much as it is. Uh, that's got to be chamfered up, um, up the side of the pond. As we know, to create that bit of a slope, so there's some stone going to go up there as well. Uh, and it can come together. I mean, I have whackered this down, the whacker's been over it. It ain't 100% fully compact yet, but it's enough to walk on. Um, so, yeah, so we am getting there. We am getting there. These are okay. These have come through the treatment okay, I'm fine. Um, the reason the water's a little bit murky at the minute is because I've just in the window and I've just been purging the skimmer as well because as you know there ain't much of a pull through that skimmer so every now and again what I'll do shut the bottom drain off and I'll purge through that skimmer so I'll put the pumps on 100% shut the bottom drain off and then it only sucks through that and what it does you'll be amazed how much crap it pulls through there so I've just done that as well um, the, the the reason it's, it's in here is because when I shut the valve off it sort of backflows a little bit uh, so anything where it do take you in the one way it pushes out the other that makes sense makes sense to me I don't know what I'm on about uh, So yeah, some people have asked me about the cantilever That was from Dobby's you know if there's a Dobby's garden center near you You'll probably find them on there, but you can also get them off Amazon eBay you can get them anywhere. I mean I'm resin stone uh, Stuff a little bit exactly the same as my food dogs believe it or not, but these buggers need a good jet wash no look happy about it, does he? Other ones down there. And I've also got behind here, there's a Buddha. I think he's behind there. Uh, but they'll all come get jet washed and be placed wherever. As and went, don't know where to put them if I'm quite honest with you. Uh, but yeah, the cantilever. It's a, it's a Japanese cantilever, it's called. So that's 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 what you're looking at. Just a few asked me about it on the last video where I've got it from. And I had that from Dobby's Garden Centre. Um, I had it cheap, if I'm perfectly honest with you, because it is broke. There's an hole on the big, on the big one. I don't know if y'all see it. There is an hole at the back, but also if you can see that front spike facing us, the tops off the spike, and that's pretty much all wrong with it. Um, they already had a sale on, which they'd reduced it down, and then I got another twenty percent off. Uh, so all in all, if I'm honest, I paid eighty quid for it. But them about two and a half hundred quid everywhere else. I nearly bought one when I was in Devon. Uh, they wanted two four nine for that. I did buy it, and then I said this one, and I thought, you know what? The one I was going to buy in Devon was a darker colour, 
but I think this one probably sits out a little bit better because it contrasts against the the dark grey. So I'm happy with it. Uh, it is a nice feature. It's a nice thing to look at. Um, I've got other options of stuff to put there, but I thought I'll go for that. Uh, and then I'll just when everything's done, I'll just crowd everything around the pond. I've still got to get me slight chippings on the on the planted bed, but that will come. Same as everything else. Bonsai's I'm looking okay. That's a bonsai then. Here's a bonsai. A couple of them there, look. Bonsai. No bonsai. Bonsai. No bonsai. Bonsai. No bonsai. <laughs> That's sarcastic twat or something. Um <laughs> But it is a <laughs> bonsai. No bonsai. I know. I know. It gets it gets old that after a bit, David. Bonsai is just a tree in a pot, basically. That's all it comes out to tree in a pot. Um. We we don't need to go over that again. The Daphne and I'm doing well. Da I said nothing about the Daphne for a bit now. Pete's going to get a little bit upset about that because I am mentioning them. These are my okay as well. To be fair, these have. Uh, on a Saturday or a Sunday, I do do the filters. I've had to do them today, and the reason being because I've given them a great big lump of bloody mealworm yesterday. Um, so a mealworm just just it's just shit in the filters, aid. It's absolute crap. But these are all looking good in here. Uh, Thomas Abbas are in with these as well. There is too many fish in here, without a doubt. So I've got to uh, I've got to look at what I've got. I know I've said this before, but I've got to look at what I'm, what's coming out. Shiro Tsuri looks good. Uh, there's a Tanjo shower in here from Dainichi as well. That's looking good somewhere. I don't know where it is. You know, the checkerboard one I put in a couple of weeks ago. That looks good as well. Oh, there he is right in front of us here. Yeah. See if I can zoom in a little bit for you. There he is, look there. There's a bit more sumi coming out on it, on the red spot. But uh, everything's looking alright in here. I'll just let you gain the growth I should be getting because there's too many in here. I think now Pete is trying to. Trying to talk me into taking the Tamasabas out and sticking them in there. And I'm having none of it. I did, I did think about putting the Tamasaba in there, if I'm honest. I thought about putting uh, Tommy in the big one. But, I'm alright where they am. I'm alright where they am. I think the Sankeys have probably got to come out of here. I hate, I hate a Sankey lover. And, and you know what, I mean, Sankeys are alright if you get a good one, are they? If you, it's getting a bloody good one, though. Mind you, these ain't bad, I ain't saying they're bad, it's just... Um, don't know, I'll have to get them in a bowl and have a look. I know I've had them in a bowl once before. I'll just have to get them in and have a look. But they're alright, these then. I'm a sitting at... Well, I was sitting at 21 and a half. We've had a few cold days. I'm at 19.6 at the minute, so... The eaters are doing a lot for them at the minute. Uh, but as you can see, them, them, them okay. There's no marks, there's no redness, there's no sores. I'm feeding them like ravenous vultures at the minute. There's no flicking, which is good. Someone's going to prove me wrong, I suppose, now. But yeah, there you are. So it's Saturday. Like I said, I'll pick my phone up again now, so I'm going to disturb you. It's Saturday. Uh, it's what I said at the start. 24th, 24th of August, was it? Shit me dates. Shit me everything, really. Um, as I said, I'll get some footage when we're up at the show tomorrow. Uh, Kelpie Aguri, he, he ain't coming out to play again. I think he's fell out with us, I don't know why, but you know, you don't want to come out to play with us now, more. Um Now, Kelpie is the bloke, basically, and I was thinking about this the other day. He's the one who actually put the four of us really together. And he don't want to come out to play no more. He's had his ball back and he's gone up. Uh, still leave, he ever needs me. He knows that. He knows that we all am. We're still there if he ever needs us. But he's got his own things to deal with at the minute. So I'll let him crack on. But anyway, I'm going to leave you there. I'm going to put you down until I'm waffling on now. Uh, I don't think Kelp is going to the show tomorrow, as I said. So there'll be three of us. There'll be me, Mad Dog and Pete. I think Teresa's going. Vicky's coming with me. Pete's going to be on his own because Teddy's probably kicked him out again. Um, so there you go. So I'll, uh, I'll catch you at the show, eh? You know, Pete, eh? Yeah. So Sunday morning, uh, currently around about half past eight, and I'm still at home. My missus is down there, I'm getting ready. Honestly, a bomb wouldn't shift her. 
But uh, I've been up the garden, I've fed the fish, fed the others as well. They've had three feeds, they have. They just doused off 80. I'm sitting at 99 at the minute, well, 20 degrees near as Danny. They just, they just doused off 80. But the trouble is in that pond, in the sleeper pond, I ain't getting really as much growth as what I'd like. So I think the numbers have got to be thinned out. So if anybody's looking for any grow ones, there'll be a few of them coming out. What I'll have to do is get them in a bowl and I'll show you. Show you what I'm moving on. Uh, some nice fish to be quite honest. Um, but I'm meeting up with the lads, it's supposed to be at 9 o'clock, but of course we'll be getting there for 9 o'clock again. So I'm going to have to rush my breakfast down, and then we'll be on the trip to the show. So, hopefully I've seen one or two of you at the show, and if I have, then thanks for coming up and saying hello. I know a lot of people just sort of stand in the background and don't speak, but if, you know, if you ever see me out and about, come and say hello. Oh well, boys, not on the first time anyway. <laughs> But these have had a munch as well this morning, keep them a little bit lower on the food at the minute because I'm still, believe it or not, under that treatment. So, yeah, I'll just let that run its course and then we'll see how they go. As you can see, there's, there's loads of shit flying about again. I, call, I honestly believe that by not putting that dome on the bottom drain, I a get in the pool what should be on the drain, if you can understand what I mean. Yeah, the drain works. If I turn this up to 100%, it'll clear the pond. But what I run, I run this pump, this pump. Obviously, I've got uh, 2,600 gallon. The pump's an 18,000 litre one, which is 4,000. Oh, I know, I'm right. Yeah, 4,000 gallon an hour. So to run this smoothly, really, I only run it at two and a half measures, and even that's probably too much. But you can get the, the pond to clear. You can see the bits floating about. You can see. Obviously the water is a bit crap, especially when the sun's on it on a morning like this. Um, and yeah, so I think maybe I'll, I'll see how it goes through the winter. Uh, there ain't going to be too much trouble through the winter, but I think what I'll do is I think I'm going to have to get in and try and get a dome on there. I think I'm going to have to replace that grid with a dome. Don't get me wrong, the grids are nice because they sit in flat and everything, so... Yeah, that's the nice part about it, but I just don't believe it's giving me the pull and clearing the, the crap out of the water like it should. Then again, I've got some big fish, I know, but there you go. So, uh, so hopefully we've uh, we've all had a good show by the time you've said this. Um, I'm going to go and shake her feathers now and see if I can get her moving. But in the meantime, if I have again, if I have seen you at the show, thanks for coming up and saying hello. I'll and if you've had a cup off me, or we've swapped cups, thank you very much. See, I'm sort of talking past tense here, aren't I? <laughs> I haven't got there yet. There you go. Also, don't forget that the uh, Midstaff's Koi Show is coming up as well in September. I'll put the flyer on the end of this with my face on. Thanks to Paul Dowling for the uh, for the new designs as well. There is a new design logo of mine. Uh, it's just a sharper, better image, if I'm honest. The original image. Um, was a little bit sort of small and sort of faded well not faded, blurred if you like I suppose when you look at the starts and the stops of my videos you'll see it there this one's a bit sharper but I've got to figure out how to do the editing the banjos at the start and stop might have to go uh, might have to come up with something new uh, I'll speak to my mate Pete because he's normally good with stuff like that unless uh, Mr Dowler who did the design can come up with a, a start and a finish uh, uh, intro and outro. That's, that's supposed to be the right words, eh? Intro and outro. So see if they can come up with something for me anyway. But for a long time I've said the banjos have got to go and Mad Dog's going, oh no, that's black country. I said, no, it takes bloody Texas, wherever. So, this is where it is, eh? Right. I might snap back to you when we're all together in the cafe, in the pub, not the cafe, the pub. And uh, other than that, I'll see you at the show. In a bit, eh? what? I've been, yeah? So, what's happened is, I can hear myself talking now. What's happened is, is we pulled up at the services, and Vic says, Why don't you three get in that car and I'll drive yours? So now I'm a passenger. With your stupid ear, ear plugs on. They ain't mine. No, no. Who's on they? They're Teresa's. They're yours. They ain't mine. They're yours. They ain't mine. Why does Teresa use them? Everybody, Pete. So don't listen to that twat. <laughs> Where you going? <laughs> <laughs> them, <paranoid. laughs> oh dear. So where are we going? Just wait for these pair, I don't want to lose them, do I? 
Oh, tell us to keep up. Come on. We're on the way. I've been yeah. Just got into the shell. I'm literally 15 foot up. Mad dog, another mad dog here. One, I poke out with the one out of the back. But we've got another one here, but we're doing a cup swap. Yeah. I've got now boxes. Thank you very much. So, big thanks to this bloke, guys. Top man. He did tell me ages ago he was another mad dog. I thought that has too much to believe, but he is, is he? Coincidence. Coincidence. Well, man, the reason, reason I am another mad dog is my name is Mad Ox. Oh, okay. Take the X off, put the G mad on. Dog. What do you get? Mad dog. There you go. Catch you in a bit. Having you again. Still at the show. Just popped into a, a stall at the moment. I've got Jamie keeping it for behind me as well. He has Pete as well. Um, you just, just, I, I noticed this on a video of Phil Telfer and Kuiper on. Um, so we're just going to have a look at this. Here's, here's the main. That's Cashy. Um, he's, he's actually, he's actually recommended this food. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a bag of each. Um, I'm going to take a bag of each and we're going to see how it goes and then I'll do a review for this bloke on YouTube. This is Paul, this is the gaffer, he's, uh, he's based in Kettering and um, this is the food. Obviously there's in 6ml and 3ml pellets, so that's the growth, 6ml pellets as you can see, 24 quid. There's two and a half kilo there and he's, he's guaranteeing me it works. So if it works, we can try it in the sleeper pond with the small ones. So if I take some 3ml food and we'll throw it down the little ones and see how they get on. I'm at 20 degrees at the minute, so like I said, I ain't getting the growth where I should have. So we'll see how it goes. See if we can put, some, put a little bit of body and growth on it with this. And, uh, and we'll see what happens. Said, looking at the food, that's the spirulina. That's got the spirulina and you can see how green that is. That's the 6 mil pellet, the 6 mil colour. And there's a the 3 mil growth. That's what I should be taking is for, uh, is for the sleeper pond. See if we can get some body and size on him. Here's Tony Green, I mean Mad Dog. <laughs> I just want to. Uh, I just, just of my got his, got his trousers on. And bully special prize. He's playing. He's playing Gary Anderson tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So we're, I'm gonna sort this out. This bloke here. This bloke's based in Kettering. I'll get his uh, details and everything for you. We'll get them up on the uh, on the channel at the end, and we'll uh, we'll take it from there. So sad. Right then, I'll catch you in a bit, I've only just got round to this bit. We've been here about an hour and a half. Vic's getting fed up, he's going for a cup of tea with Teresa. And we're still, uh, we're still trying to deal with this bloke here. Yeah? You have had some, are you? Yeah, I've had some. Yeah, I've had all my food off my mates. Oh, he has all the food off him here. So brothers together you know what well, except for you. Except for today, good show. Well, See you in a bit. I'm sure there'll be an account here for the end of it today. <laughs> See you in a bit. The show's shutting up now and I'm just doing the presentation down the back. Vic's got hold of exclusively Chloe, Ryan's just sorting her out now with a few little bits. I don't know what he's looking at but we'll see when I'm in the bowl. Uh, what are you reckon to the show? Shit. Really? What are you reckon to the show? Time's busy as you was last year, we don't feel yeah. Last couple year. of years have been good. Last year felt really. I think easy. I think they, they need to, to redesign it and have all the dry goods in here and all the wet goods in the back. Yeah, yeah. If I'm honest, there is Pete with his uh, tree in nettle. It's <laughs> 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 If you watch it, if you watch this video as well, if you watch this video as well, the black cover at the top. Plastic box, plastic, not ceramic, you bastard. Did he say it was ceramic? Uh, ceramic, totally ceramic. Squat. Oh, souls. Who was that Oil of Eli, morning? Uh, so I just got back from the show. Uh, and it was obvious why I was going to come back with these. These are from exclusively Koi. Uh, forget who the breeder was now. Hoshkin. Hoshkin. I was the last customer of the day, so he gave me a bit of a discount on him, but uh, we will go into that. Just in case uh, anybody else has had them. They're all, well, two showers, and what looks to be, we don't know. If I'm honest, it's a gamble. See how long it lasts, you know, it's like. And going in the sleeper pond anyway, they're currently at 20 degrees. Like I've already said, there's fish got to come out of here because I've got too many, and I'm putting more in, knock it down much, so. There you go, but uh, it is what it is. Ilo's uh, keeping an eye on things. Oi, oi. 
making sure they're all right as well. So there you go. Around about 27, 26, 27 cm. We'll see how they fare. We'll get in the winter and see what's uh, what the crack is then come the come the spring. So there you go, happy days. I know I had done a lot of filming at the show guys, but you'll see plenty of it on other channels. I was just too busy talking and rattling. Every step I took, somebody was rattling to me. But there you go. Happy days. Right then, catch you in a bit. So there you go, that's what I bought today. Um, I've just got to go on and see what's, uh, what progress has been made while I'm away. Uh, now, to be fair, these are a mixed match of slabs in all fairness. You've got old and new. So you've got metric and imperial slabs. Uh, and to be fair, he's done the best he can. And I'm quite happy with what he's done so far. He's still got a bit of cutting in over the back. A bit of cutting in down there and all the way across this edge here. And we've got to do all that with four slabs. Oh, and off. Uh, but I did tell him, I said, you know, at the end of the day, we ain't got enough slabs, just concrete where it needs concreting. And you can, as you can see, it's concreted over the back. Most more shed will run pretty much across that line of slabs there. And then whatever's at the back there will be spare. I still have a door put in the back of the shed. Uh, and then I'll store, like, you know, covers and, and bits of pipe and whatever else around there where I don't need to be on view. Uh, so yeah, looks pretty good. Looks good enough for me anyway. I mean, it's the end of the day, I don't need to have so I've got somebody else to do it. It's cost me a few quid, but I say a few quid, it's not really cost a lot in all fairness in the great scheme of things. Uh, these are okay. Uh, they've just got a little bit of food. I am going to put the auto feeder back on. We're down to 17 degrees, they don't like it. Them racked off. Them snowflakes, these lot. Uh, if I do put the auto feeder on, I'll probably just have three feeds a day now. No good bollocking the food down at 17 degrees because they were just, they don't want to know. I'm too used to having like 20s and 24s. But we'll see how they get on. As I said, as you've just seen me do the uh, fish, I mean this one now, these are more back in, top back on. And uh, hopefully, all okay. You don't get a bad view really, do you, when I put you there like that? It's amazing how they all like to swim. Away from the camera though, you know. There you go, angle you down a touch. Trouble to get the reflection then, but there you go, them them all right there man. I'm in there somewhere. But there's too many fish in here now. Tamasabas are more right as well. Yes, there's too many fish. So I'm gonna have a sort out tomorrow. So tomorrow me and Vic are gonna uh, have a look, get in get a bowl out, uh, see what can go. Maybe segregate them in a separate net. And if anybody's after any uh, any grow ones, hit me up and uh, come over and grab them. I'll be at the right price at the end of the day. Uh, this, uh, yeah, it's one of them. I think some of them have got to go. I think the two Yama, uh, well, the two Yamabukis have got to go. Sankeys. Maybe a couple of showers. But we shall see. We shall see how they get on. So that's it from me for today. Um, bank holiday Monday tomorrow, so it's nice to know how I got to get up. I'm going to go and have a few beers now. I left the lads some beers this morning in the wheelbarrow. <laughs> Should have took a photo. I stuck them in the wheelbarrow and piled sand up the side just to try and keep them cool till they got here. So they've, they've had a drink as well while I'm at it. So that's it from me today, and I'll uh, snap back to you when I've got something else to show you. In a bit, tight. I've been yeah. Monday the 26th of August, the day after the show. Uh, what I realised I'd never done was give a shout out to the people I'd met. Because I'd hardly done any filming. I met so many people. Um, it took us about three hours to do the, the, the lap of the show, if you like. Crazy. Every, every few steps we'd stop and talk to people. But... There you go, it's always good. First of all, big shout out to the other mad dog who, who I documented. I have, I've got his cup, I'll get a photo of his cup on here. Uh, he come up and said, I've been here to me and give me a cup and we had a good rattle. Uh, who else did I see? Andy and Graham and Beasley, Darby Coy, good to see you guys. 
Uh, who else? God, there's that many. There was Andy's Koi Puddle, Richard Shrewsbury. And Andy had travelled all the way down from Glasgow. Uh, Richard Shrewsbury travelled all the way from Shrewsbury. Uh, um, <laughs> and who else did we see? Who else did we see? Oh, Danny's Koi. Uh, Danny from Crew. My boy's Koi. Uh, oh, there, was, there was loads. Cashy, Cashy up. Good to see you mate, got your cup back to you, promised I would. And uh, whoever else I met on the day, uh, if you come up and said hello to me and I don't know who you was, I do apologise. Um, but it's like I said, everybody watches me and I don't watch you. I don't know who you are. The show, my synopsis of the show, it was quieter than normal, if I'm honest. Uh, the show seemed to be, when I first walked in I was quite surprised because when we walked in before, last year and the year before you walk in with a crowd it's like being on the bloody london tube you know there's that many people in there you just walk through you like sheep herding through this time you've just got the freedom which was nicer don't get me wrong it was nicer but you've got the freedom to just walk in and browse um so i actually spot bumped into yorkie that's another that was the first person i said was yorkie's boy he don't need out of YouTube anymore, he's got no fish anymore, but he's, he's a cracking bloke. Um, give me some of Tiggy Kalpi, if I ever see Kalpi. Um, but yeah, he's a cracking bloke. So he's the first one I said, and he said to me, he said, when you get in there, he said, make your own mind up. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. So he was impressed. Uh, I mean, we had a great day, don't get me wrong, we had a brilliant day. The show was really put on great. If I'm honest, with you, I can't fault the show itself. What I, what I was with, miffed at was all of a sudden, three o'clock, everything was getting packed up. You know, we day turn up till midday, so really we only had two or three hours at it. <clears throat> and at three o'clock, everything was getting packed up, which I thought was a bit. I mean, that was doing the presentation, and the dealers was pretty much packed up and in the vans. So. Uh, but I did make that last minute purchase for exclusively, so Ryan, thanks for that mate, thanks for taking the time out while you were doing your stuff and packing away and stuff, so big thanks and big shout out to exclusively for you. Um, the show was good, it was a good day out, we enjoyed it, it's nice to see people who you I see for ages, Brett, Kiri Coy, Wayne as well, I, can't, I don't know the other blokes now, if I'm honest, so I do apologise. So. Uh, I'll, I'll be reeling these off as we go along, Philip Telford Coy. I see so many people and spoke to so many people, it's, it was a great day out I suppose, you know, in all fairness, the show, I think it was it was better supported the last two years than what it was this year, maybe that's going to be a thing um, to come out in, in any sort of meetings, what the club had, but all in all it was a good day, good day out. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, a couple of fish, well, three fish bought, thanks to Vic again. I've got the whiskey in her, so we wanted to buy fish. But also, what I have done is I've, uh, and I'm sure a lot of other people who went to the show did, I've took hold of some of this. Now this is a new food that's on the market, so obviously we can try this out. Uh, Japanese food, it's absolutely full. If I can find the uh, ingredients. There you go, there's the ingredients. No, I'm uh, so let's look at the ingredients. There we all know that fish meal is the best stuff you can get in a in a in a in a koi food. So let's look. First of all, we've got white anchovy, which is fish. Whole krill, which is fish. Uh, then we've got your soya bean meal and your wheat flour and so on. Squid meal, which is fish. Uh, yeah, it's all it's all sea fish, but it's fish. Brine shrimp mix. This is fish. So yeah, there's your there's your analysis on the on the food itself. So it's got a 36 month, three year guarantee period on as well. It's a good package, if I'm honest. It's packaged well. So I, I had some of the uh, some of the growth and some of the colour, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Pete also had some from West Brom. This come off a back of a recommendation from Cashy, who has trialled this food. Uh, for Mark, I think his name was. I assure you, if I called him Paul on me video, I think his name was Mark. 
Dajoiwa. Now I'll read that as Dajoiwa. Like the old fishing stuff. Dajoiwa. Okay. Make your own mind up on that one. I've had the three mil pellet. Basically, what I've had that for is, as I've, as I've already said, I air gain the growth what I'm expecting in there. Now, Cashy reckons that this food made these fish grow like stink and they put the bodies on them and all sorts. So, at the minute, I'm feeding a mixture of sake, kori, and coppins in that. Uh, in that pond there's a lot of colour food going down them as well so what I shall do is when that when that upper runs out I shall keep them at around about 20 degrees and I shall feed them this and we'll see how we get on with this Pete's already put it on his main pond I've still got Saki Kori in there giving him his main pond <coughs> um, obviously there are so many fish in here as well Pete's got well I've got eight tempted to put the uh, Tancho showering, what I bought from the barn, the Dainichi one. Tempted to put that in the main pond, but we'll see what happens. But as I said, I'm smashing this food. I'm absolutely smashing it. There you go, I'll probably get the body work again. Now, the easiest way to do this, sub the buttons. I don't like to keep taking this off though, because my clips are starting to go a little bit a little bit worn out now. And that's, a, that's the thing with these feeders. I've had three or four of these feeders before, they're great feeders. They only do three times a day, this one does. Um, <clears throat> the clips on the uh, on the lids wear out. I do believe they've, brought, they've changed them a little bit now, on the new type. But I've still got one of them. They last forever. The batteries, two years. I had, for, I had for a set of batteries. And the money cheap pound shop batteries. But the some fish I think got to be sorted out in here today. Um, and so fit, I've got to thin the numbers out. I know I put another bloody three in yesterday. Which one of them was the first one up then? I know I put three in yesterday, but I've got too many fish. I'm a, I'm a nightmare for it. So, if, as I said, if anybody's after any grow ons, keep an eye out from the next video. And uh, there might be something in there I'm interested in. Little Thomas Abbas, them up as well. But them, them up and down, them a bit skittish. Don't know why. Can't figure it out, but there you go. With that amount of numbers in there, there shouldn't be. So, yeah, this food, bang on. So, we'll try that. Well, I'll say bang on, I ain't tried it yet. So, I did promise the guy I'll do a review on it. I'll get his details up. I've got his flyer and stuff in there. Uh, also, Liam Best, good to meet you again, pal. Um, and a uh, volume number three of him, which is the only volume I was missing on the books. So, if you have got Liam's books, get over and get Liam's books because the world of Nishki guy, brilliant, brilliant things proper collective books so i believe we've got the lads coming back today to finish this off it's a little bit higher than what I'd, i would have liked if i'm honest then uh, that that course down there is my level um which was going to be what i wanted well it's a four off in all fairness so i'm looking at it again this is where it is slabbing eh? you know what i mean nothing major just just slabbing it's all right to put a shed on so hopefully this time next week I'll be ordering my shed or lock cabin, whatever I decide I'm going to go for. All that's got to come off the fence, all that's got to come off the top. Uh, and I'll find somewhere to put that. So there you go. I know I've babbled on for a while, but I just thought it was only right that I'd come on and I'd give everybody a shout who we'd spoke to at the show. Um, <clears throat> Craig Willis from the Birmingham Club, Kev from the Birmingham and Mid Staffs Club. See you guys over there. Tony Barker and Mandy. See you over there. Uh, oh, Andy, he's Koi Pond Lifestyle, is it? Yeah. Uh, hoping to get an old okay cake off him, but he never bought none. Let us down there. And of course, numerous other people who I saw. If I missed you out, I do apologise. There's just too many to mention, uh, as you can appreciate. Um, but there you go. Right then, I'm going to leave you there. Uh, I've rattled on enough, and I'll uh, I'll catch you on the next day. In a bit, Aid.